Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're doing very well. Obviously, Josh Ryder here. We are back with a not not a new series. It is like an add-on. Like if you've known the top of the north, we upload that because it's like the best possible past and present northern players. Well, not northern players, but northern teams, the players that have played in the, for the northern teams of the UK. We are bringing something a bit extra. Like I, I got a lot. I got quite a few questions yesterday. We were brainstorming on the stream yesterday, and we were like, "Well, why don't you do like a self finest? Like, why don't you include, you know, a self RTG and see the difference? Like, what's the sort of teams, the comparison? You know, because we miss out on so many player SBCs for the self, like Chelsea." Um, let me just show you. I built like a team just to uh, show you straight away. So this is like a team I've roughly built. So it's, it contains like so it's best possible players from Bournemouth, Brentford, Spurs, Sit um, Arsenal, Chelsea, West Ham, Southampton, and obviously when you deep dive into the championship, you've got the likes. Well, no, Fulham's Prem, obviously. We got Watford, QPR, Oxford. Um, Bristol City, Portsmouth and uh, Millwall so what we're going to do is I have whacked on a couple of FIFA points I've already opened them, we've got quite a tiny bit of fodder but we're going to see side by side, obviously this, this account is a couple of months behind uh, the top of the north which I am enjoying and that will be uploaded tomorrow when this does live um, I just wanted to show you what we did pack. Uh, we got a Tevez, we got a De Bruyne, we got a Sam Kerr we could use, Thierry Henry used to play for Arsenal. Um, so we've got quite a start really. Now Jorginho is someone want to buy straight away. And also, I'm sorry, I know everyone's going to be like, oh my god, a new series, but I, I really want to kick on with YouTube. I've said it many times and I've never adhered to it. I, I, I need more clips. I need more, more YouTube shorts. I need more I need more hours, basically, for monetization. So this is going to be called The South's Finest alongside the Top of the North. And then what we're going to do is, at the, at the end of the week, we're going to do uh, a series called um we're going to do we are going to do a series called uh north versus south we're basically we show each you know each account what we've bought what we've what we've looked at now obviously it might not be live for a few weeks yet while we make this account catch up to the top of the north because obviously we made some insane progress on that account we got a good amount of coins um, so I just wanted to basically update you. Uh, we've got a couple of SBCs for us to show you. Now that is not the team, by the way. That is just an example of what a team could be. Right. So just to show you where we're up to, um, I want to address a couple of things as well. Like we've done it exactly the same as the Northern Past and Present and the Northern Evil Past and Present. It's not an RTG. We've got spare funds. We will use them, uh, FP points even. Uh, for like evils for packs, you know, so I just want to show you like we do with the northern I'll show you northern past and present and then Northern evil past and present so we get a list of all the past and present Players that used to play for those northern leaves and we've just done the exact same you would do with the southern players So obviously with EAFC evolution players There's quite a lot. There's quite a lot to choose from if I'm being honest Um I just feel this would be a good comparison to see the difference between the South and the North. I feel like it'd be a really enjoyable series. I am going to up my editing ability. I am going to have longer episodes, and we are going to. I am going to try to upload daily if it kills me. I'm going to start and back up, basically do loads of episodes ahead, so we can go and post every single day hopefully this is the evolution section so there is a lot to start with like team of the week surge there's so many good players already for that uh, i didn't i completely forgot about uh, virgil van dyke but he used to play for southampton so if we pack a van dyke we can use him so that was the evolution section i can pop a link if you do want a link to these pop a link and you can possibly help me with the series i do want more interactions from you guys if you are watching these um so that is that sort of team um Jorginho looks kind of nice but i think he only gives him wide half i might buy a Jorginho and put him into the ultimate succession upgrade because i'm not gonna lie a guy with cdm 
with uh, Deep Lion Play Magic. He doesn't have the um, the what do you call it the um, the holding roll, which is a bit strange. So, but having a plus two on a plus one on him to get two place, one dribbling, two defending, two physical, uh, same passing, two shooting. On an anticipated plus CDM is fantastic, so I might be doing that. And I think he's, yeah, he's discharged, so that's probably one of our first signings. In terms of um, the normal players that aren't evils that are past and present, I think this gets mainly carried by Chelsea, Spurs, and Arsenal by losing it. So we have got a Saka that's still in an SBC, so we are going to be working towards the Saka. We're going to be working towards. Uh, Desai, who's currently in, so it's like two mil. It's going to be hard work because we've got advanced SBCs that could hopefully pull us through with fodder. But there's just so many. Uh, wait, George Best? Wait, Fulham? And Bournemouth? I didn't realise. I thought he was predominantly. Well, he was predominantly Man United, but I didn't realise he played for Fulham and Bournemouth. My apologies. My, I am so naive with that. So you've got Lords. Nathan Ake used to play for Bournemouth. Obviously with Packer Son, that'd be quite nice. There's a lot of decent cards, I will say at the moment, that are cheap, but are still usable. Elise used to play for Palace. Uh, yeah, Palace and QPR. Unless that was Eze. That might have been Eze. Eze's not got a special card yet. Anyway, I'm waffling. There is so much to get through this account. I'm gonna have to grind rivals. I'm gonna have to grind squad battles for tomorrow's rival rewards. But I'm going to build a team out. We're going to do a couple of SBCs while we're here. Just to tantalise those taste buds. I know, I'm starving, as usual. But guys, if you are looking forward to this series, or you're like, Josh, what are you doing? Then please let me know either way. I am open to it all. So in terms of the SBCs that we're going to be completing, uh, we got Wilfried Zaha. May not get to him because we'll be focused on Mr. Bakayo Saka. Four star, four star. That looks like an insane card. And I cannot wait to hopefully complete that card. Desai with 21 days. Take a few champs rewards and we'll be there. We will be there. Mikey matchups. Uh, need to double check. Pedro used to play for Chelsea, so that must be a complete. Not sure on Kenneth Taylor, I'll be totally honest. But we've got this, the 80... 80 plus 3 of 10 player pack. Now, the last time they did this, it was shambolic because it? it was like a 75 times 10. Oh, we got Giroud as well. Giroud is quite cheap. He might be my go to striker for now until we can actually get a decent, proper striker in. Oh, yeah, Kim Little. Now, 10 Moon Mastery player items. I don't know if I'll get them in three weeks. We might do, though, depending on how I get on with swap battles and stuff. And Kunku, sadly, I don't think I've got time. I have to average nine wins, which I did hit it for the first time this 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 uh, weekend on the, uh, the Northern account. Right, let's do this. What does it require? 84 four. Four of them. And then an 83. Ooh, for a new account, I'm not sure that's worth... That is, uh, that's high, that. That's high. While I am completing this, I, I need as much feedback as I can, guys. I, I really do. And I would appreciate if, you, if you'd if you help me. If it's evils, if it's players, if it's meta teams. Whatever it may be. If you could let me know, give me some advice. For YouTube as well. I'm trying to still settle in with YouTube, I'll be totally honest. I'm totally useless as a content creator, I feel like, recently. Um, that's not horrendous. I kind of maybe want to keep him instead. But yeah, I've been lacking, guys. My, my short form, my long form. Everything is just... I need a right kick up the arse, and I just need to knuckle down. If it's not... The problem with me, guys, if it's, if it's not exciting, then I don't want to know about it. I've just got it in the, the set of an RTG sort of thing where it's the same stuff every day that people will watch, and I hope you guys watch. So anyway, 
Three of ten, 80 plus Rurgul players. Now, if I can get a special or a couple of walkouts, maybe, then I'll be very happy. Hopefully. First one, 80 rated. Second one, 81. 81. 82. 80. 80. <laughs> Yeah, I've been shafted with this one. 83. 82. And then finally, we'll take an 83. So we'll take... Two. God, they were dreadful. So we'll take those three. They're all duplicates, sadly. So they'll go to the duplicate section. So yeah, that is where we're going to end episode one on. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you understand the rules. So it, all it is, is it was just using players that I used to play for the top Southern teams in the UK, Prem and Championship. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments what you want to see from this series or what you want to see from me as a content creator. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Peace.